right, welcome to practice 10-4, homework helper. And we're going to check some answers here as we go through. I've noticed I've done a, quite a few of these. I want you to take your time and go through these. Check. If you need to, pause the video. Look to see if your numbers are there. If you have all of these numbers here, you can go ahead and give yourself plus one. On this problem, you're looking for an eight. You're looking for a six, a two, two, and a four. I'm going to go over this quickly just so you can grade. You can see how you did. Let's go to the next one. We should see a one, a six, a one, and a six. If you had that, another plus one. And if you're starting to get quite a few of these, that shows me that you're really catching on quickly. So if you had a one, four, three, two, three, two, another plus one. I'm going to go over these quickly. I'm not going to show all the work or anything on this. You should have, yes, but for the sake of time, so this isn't a, a hour long video for grading your homework. We have 36. If you have that, give yourself a plus one. For number five, if you have 17 remainder one or 17 one fifth, that's definitely the same thing. Give yourself a plus one. And um, if you have for number six, if you have 13 remainder three or three sevenths, 13 and three sevenths. It's also a plus one. I'm going to skip down to number eight. And number eight, you'll see we have 12 remainder three. Plus one if you had that. Also three eighths, 12 and three eighths works. For number nine, 17 remainder two or 17 and two fifths. And number 10, if you have 48 as your quotient, give yourself a plus one. Hopefully you're doing well so far. Okay, for number seven, I am going to go ahead and work that one out and you can check your work as you go. You can see how you've done. So because I don't have enough room there, I'm gonna write it over here on the side. 39 divided by three. Right now I'm looking at my three. I'm kind of getting rid of this in my mind because this number is actually equal to this number. So I can divide three, one group of three into three. I'm going to subtract that. Three minus three is zero. Bring down my nine. And we have three, or excuse me, we have now how many threes go into nine or nine divided by three? That would be three. Three times three is nine. And it looks like this is going to have no remainder. So our quotient is going to be 13. All right, if you had that, give yourself a plus one. And finally, let's look at number 11. Check your work here. I'm going to do that next to it. We're going to side 43 divided by 3. So we have 1, 3 goes into 4. 4 minus 3 is 1 bring down the 3. So th how many 3's go into 13? That would be 4 3's because 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract those. We have 1 left over. So we're going to say remainder 1. That's one way to put it. Or for those people that have been using fractions, 1 third. Either, oh, that's a 3 by the way. 1 third. Let's erase that and try that again. Make sure you can see it one-third. There we go. Give yourself a plus one if you had that. Okay, and finally, let's go over the bottom section here. Now, looking at number 12 and 13, you had a, a, a bar graph over here you had to look at to decide. And uh, after all the work, check to see how you did. Uh, we have fruit cups that are 24 packages. In applesauce, there are 16 packages. For each one of those, you get a plus one. If you didn't have it, be sure that you change it now. Again, at any time, press pause if you need to to, pause, to stop the video so you can catch up as you go. I am going to do number 14 with you. And it says, what's the remainder of 27 divided by 4? So they don't want to know what's the full quotient. They want to know the remainder. So I do see something here 
that 2 is smaller than 4, so I need to take the full dividend of 27. How many 4s go in there? Well, 6 4s go into 27 without going over. 6 times 4 is 24. 27 minus 24 is 3 left over. There's nothing to bring down on the side, so it would be a remainder left over 3. C is correct. Give yourself a point if you had it. And then finally, we're looking at number 15. Explain how to find the number of leftover pencils if Wendy wants to share 37 pencils with 9 people. So if I did 37 divided by 9, I would end up with 4 remainder 1. And I wrote a sentence for you. You can check to see how close you are to that. Wendy will give each person 4 pencils and have 1 leftover. You need to have said there is 1 leftover if you did say there was 1 leftover because that's what we were looking for. That was the question right here find the number left or explain how to find the number left over and then I have 37 the number sentence divided by 9 equals 4 remainder 1 you get a plus 1 if you were able to explain that so we have let's go ahead and count these up give me quite a few points on this page so stay with me here we have number 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 uh, 15 points 